and welcome this morning. We're so glad to have you guys here today. And hello to everybody in their classrooms. Hello. I'm Mrs. Robley, and I'm the band teacher here at Sarar. We are so excited to play for you guys today. We've only been playing our instruments for just really since September, so it's only been a few months. So we are so excited to share with you all of our wonderful accomplishments this year. Um, I would now like to introduce the director of our Sarar Orchestra, and this is Mr. Simmel. Hello everyone, my name is Nick Simmel. I am the long-term substitute orchestra director here at Sarar while Mrs. Rogers is away on maternity leave. I've been here since January and we've made very large strides. Music, we have now switched from reading just letters on a page to actual sheet music. And some of the songs go very long, up to maybe 50 or even 60 measures. So we're looking forward to getting started with that. But first, we need to tune the orchestra. With four strings and wooden instruments, there's a chance that things can go a little bit crazy up here with our sound. So I'm going to bring up our concert master, Zach, to lead us through our tune. <laughs> like to share with you today is going to be our D major scale and we're going to put it in a round where each instrument gets its own chance to come in and then we'll create some really nice harmonies so listen for the harmony to kind of grow and then shrink as we go up and down the scale here's D major in a round today is going to be a fun piece called Fiddler's Go Down. And I'm going to give the microphone over to Maddie to explain that. Hi, my name is Maddie and I play the violin in orchestra. Our next song is called Fiddler's Go Down. It is a fast piece in fiddling style. This song was the first piece we learned. See if you can hear the melody being passed between the violin, viola, cello, and bass. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
All right, so we gave the opportunity to some students, if they were interested, to create their own concert. So we have some special numbers prepared by the students who took their own free time, found their own music, and practiced all together to do their own song. So the first group that I'm going to have come up and play, or where they're at, Nadia, Caitlin, Aniston, and Ella will be performing in a viola quartet, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. will be performing the Rick Astley classic, Never Gonna Give You Up. <laughs> Transition now over to Miss Robley and the band. Hello again, I'm Mrs. Robley and I'm the band director here. Um, before we play our first piece, I did want to make sure people at uh, in their classrooms know what instruments are available in the band. We actually have six instruments that are available. Um, one of them that I have is our flute. It's a woodwind instrument. You go air across, kind of like a pop bottle. Uh, an instrument we don't have this year is our clarinet, also a woodwind instrument. Uh, in our front row here, I'd like to highlight our alto saxophone players. Those are all woodwind instruments. And we're going to go over to the brass family. And in our back row, we have our higher brass playing instruments, our trumpets in the back. Yay! And we have our very lowest instrument in the band, also brass, our trombone player. Yes. <laughs> play that instrument with a slide, it's really fun. And then in the back playing all kinds of percussion instruments today are our percussionists in the band. <laughs> to introduce our first piece, I'm gonna bring Jason up to the front. Hi, my name is Jason Shinko and I play trumpet in the fifth grade band. The first song we are going to play is a piece that taught us how to play a new type of note, eighth notes. This piece is called Now Let Me Fly. We will feature all the instruments of the band on this song. Thank you. 
Merchant Orchestra. The next song that we're going to do is a traditional song, and it helps with the orchestra in a new way of counting. Typically, we count one, two, three, four, but our next song, we only count to three, which can be a little bit confusing, but they ended up doing a fantastic job. And to explain that piece, I'm going to give it over to Parker. Hi, my name is Parker and I play the viola in an orchestra. Our next song is called French Folk Song. Listen for everyone to play the main song called the melody the first time. And then we break off into both melody, melody and harmony the second time. See if you can imagine France in the Eiffel Tower in our next piece, French Folk Song. that we have in the orchestra. There are five different kinds, and we're going to start over here on the left side with the smallest and the highest instrument. We have the violins. <laughs> Up next, the instrument that I'm holding, which is related to the violin, a little bit bigger, a little bit lower. In the middle, we have the violas. <laughs> Moving along, to get Deeper notes, the instruments have to get bigger. And these instruments are just too big to play underneath the chin, so they have to have a little bit of a spike poking out the bottom to support them. But one of our lower instruments here, we have the cello. And then way in the back, we are very fortunate to have this instrument. The biggest, the deepest, the lowest, the foundation of the orchestra, we have the upright bass. The next song that we are about to present actually features all of these sections. Music now that we're learning features part independence. So no longer are we just playing the melody all together. You've noticed we've had harmony. Well now each section has their own unique part. And to explain that, I'm going to give it over to Aniston and Ella. in the Serrar Orchestra. Ludwig van Beethoven lived from 1770 to 1827. He composed his ninth symphony after losing his hearing from a disease. The famous melody from this symphony is called O to Do. Most people recognize this piece. This piece is played by the fifth grade orchestra every year. Listen carefully as you hear these harmonies surround the happy melody.
Up next, we have a few more special numbers prepared. I'm going to turn it over to our string quartet featuring Sophia, Parker, Kaylee, and Hayden as they play the main theme from Harry Potter. This is Hedwig's theme. special number, I'm going to give it over to Olivia and Evangeline to prepare, to prepare, to play the main theme from Jurassic Park. And let's give it up one more time for all of our students who prepared a special number. I beg your pardon. There is one more number that has slipped the program. I'd like to turn it over to a very interesting combo, a bass and cello duet. Adele and Gigi performing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. turn things back over to the band. All right, for our next piece, we're really excited. This is my favorite time of year in fifth grade band because we start playing songs that aren't just individual lines. Every instrument has a different part. Uh, and it makes it so much more interesting and such a team building activity. So we're really excited to play this next piece for you. And I'm gonna invite Thatcher to come up and talk about it. Hi, my name is Thatcher and I play saxophone in the fifth grade band. The next piece we are playing is called Conquest. This piece was also our first full band piece and also features the different instruments in the band with solo measures. We hope you enjoy Conquest.
turn it back over to the orchestra. Our next song is a special treat. I don't want to spoil it just yet. I'll let one of the students do that. Um, it's become a Sarar tradition, and so I'm going to hand over to Zach to kind of fill us in. We have one more song for the evening, also featuring a special guest soloist, and here to introduce that is Dylan. Hi, my name is Dylan and I play the violin in orchestra. For our grand finale, we are going to play a smooth, slow, relaxing song for you. It's so beautiful you might even fall asleep. You're so relaxed. Sit back, relax, and enjoy our final song. Thank you. 
applause for the band as well. All right. One of the cool things about being in the band is that in the future, when you get to high school, you get to be part of the Marching Mustangs Marching Band Band. And we're really excited. So we thought we'd foreshadow that a little bit in fifth grade and play a couple of the songs that they play. So I'm going to bring Anthony to come up and introduce them. Hello, my name is Anthony Carey and I play trumpet in the fifth grade band. The next songs we are performing are, the, are that the Strongsville must, Marching Mustangs perform at football and basketball games. They are called pep songs and we hope they get you excited for the end of our school year. We are going to play cheer number one in Seven Nation Army. a new style and I'm going to have Mason come on down and introduce that to you. Hello, my name is Mason and I play percussion in the fifth grade band. Our next song taught us new notes and fast rhythms and a new style of music, rock. This piece is called Mission the Rock. We hope you enjoy listening to it as it is a lot of fun to play.
one of our favorites. <laughs> All right, our last piece. I'm going to bring, actually before our last piece, we're going to feature some of our students. They were also given the ideas to do some solos, and they came up with their own solos to perform today. So I'm first going to have Jason on trumpet play Michael Finnegan. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed our version of Creatures in the Attic.
we do have a summer band and summer orchestra program, and we do have uh, the registration is online this year, and you're still open to sign up for that. I believe the band one is closing tomorrow, and the orchestra one is maybe closing by the end of the week. I believe is what it is. So, a uh, very fun program, great way to keep kids practicing over the summer and playing, and we have a lot of fun playing lots of fun songs together. So, if you're able to sign up for that, we highly recommend it if you're in town. Um, thank you once again. Thank you to the parents. We couldn't do this without your support, so we appreciate it. Let's give your parents a round of applause. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>